Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, a break in the rainfall continues at this hour. We do have mostly cloudy skies, but it's fairly comfortable. A temperature of 58 degrees, the humidity 84% with an east to southeasterly wind right around six miles per hour. Show you other temperatures, very uniform across the region with basically mid to upper 50s. We should stay put the rest of this night, if not slowly climb close to 60 in a few spots. The radar scan right now is clear around the metro, but it's not gonna stay that way. Another batch of rain is just off to the west and southwest, even a little bit of light rain working into Breckenridge and also Grayson counties, and this will continue to work its way off to the northeast as the overnight period wears on. So we had one wave of rain in here late afternoon, early evening. Here comes the secondary wave, as you can see, Southern Illinois, Western Kentucky, on into Tennessee. The bigger storms, though, are all off to the south of us, and that's where they're going to stay. We still have tornado watches in effect for much of the state of Alabama through far southeastern Louisiana. It's along that line of storms where there's still at least a threat for a few strong to intense tornadoes as the night wears on. But again, all that nasty weather will be staying south of us. It's all being kicked off by low pressure and a family of fronts kind of emanating out from that center of low pressure across the southeastern United States. This system will continue to push its way off towards the east as the night wears on. Okay, so let's talk about us. Here comes the secondary wave. Here we are right now in the future cast. Here comes the second wave moving in, scattered showers. Even a few thunderstorms may try to mix in late tonight as more of an unstable air mass works in from the south. So don't be surprised if you see a few flashes of lightning, hear some thunder late tonight, even into tomorrow morning's commute. That batch lifts off to the north. I think we're going to go partly sunny mid to late morning through the middle of the day for a time. Temperatures will jump to near 67 degrees and then boom, as the upper level low scoots on through, another wave of scattered showers, perhaps a few thunderstorms may try to form. If there's enough instability around, any of the heavier cores could produce a little bit of hail. Nonetheless, the scattered shower chances will continue tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night on top of that tomorrow night colder air will be returning to the area the good news the rain is out of here by friday morning and that'll set us up for a beautiful spring weekend so showers return overnight even a couple of thunderstorms possible 56 on that low as we look ahead to tomorrow now a few showers and storms bright and early a break as we warm to 67 and then more scattered showers and a few rumbles tomorrow afternoon Scattered showers will continue into tomorrow night as well. And then the drier air works in for Friday, for Saturday, for also Sunday. And that's when those temperatures will cool off a little bit. But the weekend right now, Rick, looks great. Spring arrives Saturday. We're 58 Saturday afternoon, 67 Sunday afternoon. And hey, there are some 70s on the map early next week. Again, no severe weather expected around air, uh, our area. That should stay off to the south. That's good news. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jay. Sure.